If you can drink your tap water, you can give it to your aunts. Make sure the faucet is turned all the way to cold water and then pour some water into the test tube. Once you have it, it should look something like that. Then you're going to need some cotton. Get a large enough piece and tear it up if you need it to be smaller. Just try to use the right amount for your test tube size. You don't want it to be too loose because the water might flow out and drown your queen or colony. Now that your piece is ready, you can put it into the test tube and push it down using the q-tip or something thin and pointy. Remember, you don't want to transfer any bacteria onto the cotton wool because it might get the queen sick and eventually she might die. So use something clean. I find the q-tip is the best option. Once the wool hits the water, it will soak it in, so you need to push it down a little further. Don't worry if an air bubble forms. Even if you have no air bubbles, over time they will form as the water will be drunk by the queen and the colony. Next, I get some tape because this test tube will be covered by a red filter for a reason. My ant colony is getting low in water in their test tube. Plus, it's getting dirty in their cotton so I want them to move. That's why I'm using the filter because I will place this test tube alongside the existing one and hopefully they will move in once I expose them to light. In case if you messed up, it can be hard to get the cotton out of the test tube. But for that challenge we are going to use a piece of wire that is bent a little at the end. Now we can drive it into the cotton and twist so the cotton gets tangled to the wire. And that will enable us to pull it out. And now you can start over again. Good luck.